Good morning folks and welcome back to a video. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've put one out so I apologise for that but uh, I've got one out here eventually so hopefully you'll enjoy this one. So this video is mostly about my 701 and my uh, time that I've spent with it. I've enjoyed this bike so much and it's impressed me so much that I've decided I'm gonna buy another and why not so I've decided that I'm gonna buy uh, a new one again and I, I bought this new uh, I took delivery of this in April uh, 20, uh, two, 20 I took the delivery of this on uh, the 1st of April 2022 and it was my first ever brand new bike and I've loved it to bits I've been everywhere on this bike, I've done some uh, off-roading on it, uh, I've done a few tours on it, I do quite a bit of vlogging on it now and again of course, as you'll know if you subscribe to my channel, as I hope you all do, but uh, yeah, it has impressed me so much, more so than a lot of other bikes I've had in the past, uh, and as I said, to such an extent that I've decided I'm going to buy a new one. Uh, a 2025 model they'll come out very shortly this year but uh, failing that I'll get one towards the end of the year but uh, that leaves a dilemma what do I do with this bike do I keep it like I did once before when I had two uh, 701s or do I give somebody an opportunity to buy this bike at a reduced price and I say a reduced price I'm not going to give it away if I do sell it but uh, brand new they're about 10,400 quid now uh, sometimes you can get them a little bit cheaper or you might find some dealers that are advertising them a little bit cheaper but then when you ring up to check whether they've actually got them in stock they haven't so I think it's fair to say that the price of a new 701 is 10,400 quid and that's sort of like obviously standard um, I've decided that a fair price for this bike if I advertise it for sale bearing in mind what I've looked at on Auto Trader and places like that I think a fair price for this bike is going to be about the uh, £7,000 mark um, and I'll say that simply because I've owned it from new I know it hasn't been abused anybody that watches my videos will know that I'm not a hooligan I'm not popping wheelies I'm not throwing it down hills and that type of thing uh, I'm not abusing it basically it's had what some would describe as a relatively gentle life uh, some would have it say it's even had a very soft life um, and I'm not going to say I've never dropped it yes I've dropped it when I've been on little trails off road um, but I've certainly never crashed it and I think there's a, a significant distinct difference between the two uh, it's never gone bouncing down the road or anything like that worst I've done on this bike I think is really is that I've, uh, I've lost my balance on it because I've been on a trail somewhere and I've gone to put my left or my right foot down and then I've noticed that I'm in a bit of a rut or something like that uh, or there's a rut at the side of me and I haven't been able to find the footfall and the bike's fallen over you know usually at zero miles an hour so uh, yeah so I think personally it's uh, it's been well looked after it still has all the original plastics on it from when I bought it never had to replace any all the lugs are intact there's no cracks or anything of that nature on the bike and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up down here and just give you uh, a quick perusal around the bike so let's find somewhere sensible for me to park up and I'll show you what I'm talking about
this will do nicely. A bit rocky, but nice and quiet. Nobody else is going to get packed up on the air one, so just pull it forward a tad so I can get my side stem down. Right, back with you in a tick. Okay, so I'm just filming this on my phone, so there might be a little bit of noise from the wind, but hopefully you can still hear me okay. So, as I said, this is the 2022 Husqvarna, Husqvarna 701. I've owned it from new, and what I've done is I've put it back more or less to standard. Um, I'll put a link in the video description and maybe even a thumbnail just to show you some of the mods that I did to it previously uh, after I bought it. I still got all those parts. But what I've done is it's about 98% stripped back to uh, standard at the moment. Uh, so looking at it from the front, you've got the little um, fly screen on it. That isn't standard. I put that on myself. I'm going to leave that on. Um, it is quite effective, even though it's quite small. But uh, it'll benefit you if you uh, end up buying the bike. I've got rid of my double take mirrors and I've put the standard mirrors on. And yes, they do look a little bit like Mickey Mouse ears. But they're not too bad. They're not as good as double take mirrors, but uh, they're still not too bad. They do the job. So working down, let's have a look down here. So I've got the Michelin trackers on, and as you can see, loads and loads of life left in those yet. No issues there at all. Just moving around the right hand side of the bike. Let's see what we've got here. So you can see there for yourself, the uh, the cleanliness if you like and the lack of damage to the engine in particular the engine casings there's no scuff marks or anything like that and that's simply because i've had um like an engine i think i think it was i've forgotten the name of the brand of it actually but uh, yeah there's some plastic covers that you can put over and again i still got those and if anybody goes on and buys this bike i'm happy to sort of negotiate those or maybe even throw them in depending on how much i get for the bike uh, the bash plate, I've put the standard OEM bash plate back on. Uh, it's adequate, um, but as I did, I had an AXP bash plate on. And again, I would suggest that if you do intend to use anything like this, a bike like this off-road, you definitely need to uh, have something a little bit more sturdy than that. Um, what else have I done here that's uh, back to OEM? Right, yeah. So the uh, brake pedal, I had a Vanash brake pedal, which was larger than the standard one. So I've taken that off and put the OEM one back on. Likewise with the pedals, they're not too bad. They're adequate, uh, again, just for general riding. But if again, if you're gonna use this bike off road, some wider pegs uh, are probably more advantageous and preferable. Uh, heel guards, I've put those back on. I did have some brackets on there which I used for tying down my Moscow Moto luggage. So again, these have been in the garage for a while. And again, you can see from the condition of them, there's no scuff marks or anything of that nature on there. Uh, moving around the rear. So this I am gonna leave on simply because I can't be bothered taking it off. Uh, this is the Husqvarna rear rotor guard. And I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'll tell you now, it wasn't cheap. Um, I might have paid a couple of hundred quid. You can possibly just see on the underside, let's just point to it about there, a couple of little dinks in it. Um, but again, that's its job. It's, uh, it hasn't been compromised, it's still solid as a rock, and that just prevents any damage to your rear uh, brake disc, obviously. Um, tire on the back, same as the front, Michelin trackers. Stacks of life left in that again. You're not gonna have any issues there. You're not gonna have to go out and start buying new tires as soon as you get the bike, as you do sometimes with some bikes. And I've got the uh, OEM exhaust on. It's very heavy and it's quite subtle in noise, but again, some people like that. So you can't complain at that. Just give you another quick view of that around this side. Uh, so I had an Acro on there. I've taken that off, obviously. And on the Acro, I had a Moscow Moto heat shield from a throw over the luggage. And again, it's an absolute must. If you're gonna uh, 
put any soft luggage on this bike you've got to protect your luggage from the exhaust because these exhausts get very very hot so uh, that's just something to be mindful of and what else have we got here just want to mention these so I've put these uh, standard OEM handrails back on uh, useful if you're carrying a passenger obviously for them to grab onto but they're also just good for you to just to hang on to if you're just uh, either picking the bike up or even just moving it around on your driver and your garage and then the other thing I've changed over is the uh, standard fuel filler cap I did replace that with with a uh, Vanash one um, but I've put the OEM one back on and again as you can see from that perfect condition simply because it's been in the garage for the last couple of years or so uh, down here let's have a look uh, yes so we've got uh, recently in the last few weeks I put uh, replacement front and rear sprockets on and also a heavy-duty rental chain so that's gonna keep you going forever in a day and on this side the gear selector I did have a hammerhead one which I got from America uh, simply because if I was wearing Enduro boots I couldn't get my boots between the gear changer and the uh, the brake uh, and the uh, the foot pedal um, so you can get from uh, this company in America hammerhead um, different sized um, gear selector levers basically but uh, again I can explain that to anybody if anybody does decide to buy the bike so uh, that's that what else have we got uh, just show you the uh, engine casings again here nice and clean and i think that is possibly about it uh, seats in good condition as you can expect or hopefully would expect switch gears all in good condition and there's me my ugly mush Oh yeah, almost forgot. The other thing that's not standard, obviously, which I've left on and will be leaving on, are these handguards. Worth the weight in gold. Definitely protect your, uh, your levers and so forth. So I think that is it. I don't think I've missed anything off. So yeah, overall, very, very nice, clean bike. Um, yeah, in fact, I'll just show you the panels just so you can see the condition of them. Still personal white, no cracks, no great big gouges or scuffs or anything of that nature. Same with the front mudguard. I'll even throw in that Mad TV sticker and that GoPro mount, they're free of charge. Coming around here, I'll show you the uh, plastics on the left hand side. Again, nice and clean and damage free. So there you go. Right, I shall jump back on the bike. And I'm just going to go to a little cafe down here, back where you in the tick. So that's it, that's a summary of the bike really. 10,400 for a new one or you can buy this which is in I would say extremely good condition 11 and a half thousand miles on the clock I don't know if I mentioned that before uh, but yeah 10 and a half or 10,400 for a new one or uh, you're looking at uh, I would say it's about the 7,000 pound mark for this I think that's fair um, I like everybody always open to offers sensible offers but uh, seven grand I think is my asking price so if you fancy it how do you get in touch with me right well I'll put my email address down in the uh, description below 
Um, I might put it on screen, but it's definitely down in the description below. Or failing that, you can just leave a comment down below, and I'll uh, and I'll get back to you. But I would prefer it if you're genuinely interested, just to drop me an email with some details, contact number, name, that type of thing, and then I'll give you a ring back as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've done all sorts on this bike, and it's been uh, very, very reliable. I've enjoyed every minute on it. Is the cafe open? Yes, it is. Good. The old Glen Tea Rooms. So yeah, that's it really. Just a short video. Uh, and as I said, if I wasn't going to be getting another, I wouldn't even contemplate selling this. I've got a lot of confidence in the Husqvarna brand, uh, which is why I've got another Husqvarna already, the FE 350. Um, yeah, what can I say? You know, just great bikes, very good all-rounders. Uh, you can do everything you want on these, which is why people use them sometimes, obviously, for uh, round-the-world trips and a lot like it. So, uh, it's got different riding modes, which I'm sure you'll be aware of as a 2022 model. You can turn the traction control on and off. It's got the mapping mode. Um, it comes as standard, obviously, with the indicators and everything else. So, that's it, folks. I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, and if you uh, do fancy it, by all means, as I said, drop me a line. All right, folks, catch up with you all later. Take care for now.